So now we're going to look at the other view in the reference palette, which is the tree view. So you can see now I've got tree view complete open. If you want to follow along with the video, it's treeview.dwg from your working files. As usual, we've got those two drawings set up to work with this particular video in your working files. I've got the tree view open this time in the reference palette. So you can see the difference. There's topography, there's the footprint foundation, there's the two XREFs, and there's the drawing tree view complete there. Now, this is why I personally don't use the tree view because it doesn't give me all of the information about the file references themselves. So you can see there that I can click and look down here at the details and it gives me all the details here. But when I go with something like the list view, I've got all that information right in front of me. I can still look at it down here in the details, but it's right in front of me in the list view. So it's up to you how you work with your reference palette. The tree view is quite nice because it breaks down into a tree view, a bit like a Windows folder view, and it kind of steps them in as well, like a paragraph. And you can actually see that they've stepped in. Whereas if you go to the list view, they're all in one list. Now it's up to you which one you use throughout this course. I don't mind whatever makes you more productive, but make sure you choose the one that you're happy with. I'm happy with the list view, but you might want to use the tree view. The tree view itself is fine, just a different view in the reference palette. When you're happy with what you use, you will find that you're more productive. So once you're happy and you're comfortable, stick with what you know, and you'll be more productive when you're using the reference palette in AutoCAD.